This is Witchbase News for Friday the 20th of August 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week ...there's mining equipment rewards in this weeks community goal ...we've some excellent guides to aid in your exploration endeavours ...Frontier teases Twitch drop exclusive paint jobs ...and Frontier wants your cockpit lighting observations in a new focused feedback request ...and more. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe ...remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications ...and to further help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. A new community goal launch this week that pits two rival mineral extraction companies against one another to see who wins the rights to establish a new starport in the permit controlled system of LTT198. The rival companies of Torval Mustopolos and the Recon Corporation are both asking for deliveries of mined ...not stolen or purchased ...silver, galite, coltan and praseodymium and you don't want to know how many times I had to practice that word. In return the winning corporation will be granted the right to establish a permanent starport in the LTT198 system by the systems enduring overlords the imaginatively named LTT198 State Limited. See what they did there? I'm betting that name was agreed upon at the end of a long Friday afternoon meeting right as the LTT198 Nags Head public bar was opening for business. For your contributions you won't be excluded from the handouts either as well as the usual cash rewards each faction is offering a permanent system permit and a piece of pre-engineered mining equipment. Ship deliveries to Torval Mastopoulos in sufficient quantities and you'll be granted a fully engineered class 1 D rated mining laser with long range. Deliver to the Recon Corporation and you'll get a class 1 D rated abrasion blaster with long range. For the full details see the community goal in the in ship Galnet newsfeed. There's a community driven 24 hour elite aid themed livestream taking place on the 4th of September to help raise funds to aid in the relief of those affected by the devastating recent floods in Germany, Belgium and the Netherlands which has caused dozens of deaths and destroyed the homes and businesses of thousands of people. Money raised will be donated to the Western Europe Flood Relief Fund who will continue to invest in long term recovery efforts once the period of initial disaster relief is over. Links to the Just Giving page and the Elite Aid Discord are in the video description below. Two guides to aid in the exploration gameplay portion of Elite Dangerous Odyssey emerged this week both concerning the search for points of interest on planetary surfaces. The planetary exploration loop changed significantly with the launch of Odyssey whereas in the Horizons era a planet would have clearly targetable pinpoint points of interest to visit Planet surfaces in Odyssey are now littered with life and geology in planetary wide zones that extend for thousands of miles. We covered some of the details in our review of Odyssey's exploration component which you can find linked on screen now but the two examples we're highlighting today are presented in the form of useful tutorials both of which are worth bookmarking. First up Commander Exorcist produced an excellent step by step video guide to seeking out active geological structures following both the theory and method from supercruise upon entering a system through to using the new interface on the detailed surface scanner all the way down to skimming the surface looking for activity. While you're there remember to drop a subscribe on the good commander he produces consistently excellent exploration videos plus you'll never be far from his silky Texas tones. The second half of this segment concerns the search for Odyssey's many new surface life signs and for that the consistently omnipresent canon research has you well and truly covered with an excellent newly published guide to scanning for organics. The guide covers the equipment you'll need, third party add-ons you might want to consider as well as detailed descriptions of the method and practice backed up with video examples. 
All in all very thorough but still presented with Canon's customary wry smile. You'll find both tutorials as always linked below. Frontier reached out to the community for some more focused feedback on Odyssey's lighting this week. For this round they're asking for specific details and commander observations with regard to the in cockpit brightness. These focused feedback requests have proven extremely effective for both the community and Frontier in getting detailed and indeed focused information across to the developers about specific issues, problems or features. Previous focus feedbacks have engaged with the community with subjects as varied as the camera suite and combat bond payouts and have all resulted in meaningful progress in the game. So if you have specific thoughts on any cockpit brightness issues do use this opportunity to make sure you get your voice heard. I've linked to the forum thread below. On the regular Thursday gameplay livestream this week when answering the now customary question about Twitch drops Zach and Bruce made mention that the community team at Frontier is currently working on a series of new Twitch exclusive community paint jobs that rather than being freebies from the Frontier store as with previous drops will be exclusive to those that attend the livestreams on Twitch. In case you're unaware Twitch Drops is a system whereby you can earn free in game items or rewards just by tuning in to a Twitch livestream that has them enabled. Companies, Frontier included, use the system to draw in extra eyes and ears when they have information that is particularly important or significant that they wish to impart to the audience. It's frequently used for new content or feature announcements etc. In order to bag the drops all you need do is create a Twitch account, link it to your Frontier account, tune in to a Twitch drop enabled livestream, learn some stuff about the game and earn a free thing. In fact we publicise the streams on this very channel whenever we hear about them so make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss out. Whilst no specific details were given the team did say that the Twitch exclusive paint jobs could be tied to things like seasonal holidays and narrative events etc. If and when we know any more about them we'll let you know right here. So will you be using the guides from Commander Exorcist or Canon Research? Are you participating in the mining CG? Do you think the tools being offered are worth grabbing and if not what would you like to see instead? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>